What is going on guys, Retax Message here. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Got a brand new video for you guys. Today we have an item build guide for the Pokemon Garchomp. All right, Garchomp seems to be a pretty popular Pokemon that everybody all around seems to like. So this is gonna be my first video for the item build guide, kind of explaining what items I have on Garchomp and why. All right, so let's go ahead into our item box here. Just go ahead and hit use on uh, one of these items here and change Pokemon. Now we go over to Garchomp here. You can see I got three items, all right? Affecting movement speed, attack, critical hit, critical hit rate, and base attack speed. Now there actually are a couple of uh, example sets here that you guys can follow, which are the same, if not, you know, the exact, yeah, I would say the exact one I have here. Uh, but this is just what I did by myself without even looking at the example sets. Only because I went based off of the type of Pokemon that Garchomp actually is. So if we look at the muscle band here, we got an increase of 13.4 for the attack and 6.2% basic attack speed. Now, of course, you're going to want to be able to attack fast when you're someone like Garchomp here. All right. And with that increased overall attack, you're going to be able to destroy your opponents, I would say, rather quickly. And late game, I've noticed Garchomp is actually crazy good. Now, a lot of people who play ranked, I've seen say that Garchomp's not really one of those Pokemon that you want to use in ranked, considering that as a Gibble, at the very beginning, he's kind of slower, you know, he's not as strong. But towards the end, I would say Garchomp is one of the best. Now, that's not saying that he is the best, I haven't played every single Pokemon for like 10, 20, 30 games to know exactly, you know, what's the best in my opinion. But using Garchomp and seeing Garchomp in game, I would say end game, he's very strong. Second one here is the scope lens. Of course, you would level these up to 30, by the way. Mine are only 25, 20, and 25. Because I'm kind of using different items here and there, so I'm leveling them up. Critical hit rate and critical hit damage. Crits are huge in game and could easily give you an advantage over the opponent when you know your basic attacks are doing, let's say, five damage. You can do a crit, maybe get 10, 15 off. You know, that's just an example, of course. You know, varies from every single Pokemon. But crits are huge and doing a lot of damage to people or, sorry, Pokemon quicker and getting the chance of the crits. They're going to start pushing back, trying to get some health there, and then you chase after him type of thing. And it puts a lot of pressure on your opponent when you're doing more damage to them than they are to you, right? Last one here is the Float Stone. Attack and movement speed. Of course, with the attack, I mentioned that earlier. That's going to be huge with really any Pokemon, whether it's regular attack or special attack. Now, movement speed is something that is useful... I wouldn't say it goes crazy. I haven't noticed, uh, you know, a crazy, crazy difference. I did do a uh, comparison video on, like, held items, if they actually work or not. The moving speed did work. It wasn't significant. It did work. But, obviously, you know, to run away from opponents, to chase opponents, to get to their goal quicker, you know, to get to uh, NPCs, mobs, whatever you want to call them, quicker... Because when you leave that first initial start of the game, that's where I did my test, the side-by-side -side comparison, and I was able to get to the, what's it called? Towards like, I want to say like their goal, kind of like that general area, the bottom middle of the map quicker. So I would say movement speed is, you know, pretty huge in that aspect to get to where you need to go faster. But... Overall, it's not, you know, crazy. It's not truly necessary. But I do have the Float Stone mainly for the attack purpose. And like I said, I will be upgrading these to 30 to get the full benefit of them. But yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up. These aren't too crazy long. Uh, maybe I'll have some, like, gameplay at the end of this to kind of, you know, just show, you know, gameplay with the items on. But yeah, guys, hope you did enjoy. If it was helpful, drop a like and a comment down below. 
And yeah, I'm out, guys. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy the rest of the video if there is gameplay. And peace out.